Hey Homemakers, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some very useful and easy ways to repurpose your citrus peels. This is a great way to get some bang for your buck and at the same time, really give your house a nice homemade touch. Your family and your guests are going to love these. I even made you guys these free printables so anytime you have oranges or lemons on hand, you can just refer back to these and make anything that I'm showing you in today's video. There'll be a link in the description box and you can just download these and print them off for free. So instead of throwing away your orange and lemon peels, here is the first way that you can reuse them. Summer is right around the corner and that means sun and dresses, but it also means bugs. So the next time that you're going outdoors for an evening with family or friends, whip up one of these super easy citronella candles. Not only will you impress your party guests with such a stunning centerpiece, you have the added function of keeping away those pesky bugs. You can make these in various size jars and boom, you will have a functional and beautiful tablescape. Just grab a jar, any jar will do. I'm using a mason jar, but you could use a washed out pasta sauce jar or whatever you have on hand. Inside, you're gonna put some rosemary, some cinnamon sticks, and some citrus peels. I'm using orange, but really you could use lemon, lime, whatever you have on hand. And to that, you wanna add hot water. And I put my hot water all the way up to the top. Then go ahead and add some citronella essential oil. I'll leave a link in the description box for the one that I purchased on Amazon. And then to that, you're also going to add a tea light and it's really that simple you're all set the second one I have for you is gonna help you step up your cooking game we're gonna make some homemade lemon pepper seasoning whether you're grilling or cooking inside this seasoning will help you create delicious chicken veggie and even beef meals without any added preservatives and the nice thing is you can add as much lemon and salt as you'd like First, you're going to want to preheat your oven to its lowest setting. Then go ahead and take your lemons and zest them into a bowl. Next, add your zest to your freshly cracked pepper and give it a stir. After that, you're going to want to spread it evenly on a parchment paper lined pan. Then you want to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes or until your zest is completely dried. Once it's done, you can go ahead and crush it with the back of a spoon. You can use a spice grinder or like me, I just stuck mine into my blender. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite grilled food? Mine is chicken, hands down. And that's why I'm so excited to have this homemade seasoning on hand for our family cookouts. For the third one, we're gonna stay in the kitchen and we're gonna be making lemon sugar. This tastes so good in hot and cold tea. It also tastes really good if you sprinkle it on warm sugar cookies. And it's so easy to make. Again, set your oven to its lowest setting. Then you wanna add your lemon zest to another parchment paper lined baking pan and spread it as evenly as possible. You're gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes or until it feels dry, but not brown. And this will happen quickly, so keep an eye on it. Then you're gonna go ahead and grind it. If you want a coarse grind, you can do it with your fingers like I am here, or if you want a smoother grind, then I would suggest using a spice grinder. Then go ahead and mix your sugar into your zest. After that, you're gonna to wanna to transfer it to an airtight container, and it will keep in your pan for a few months. For the fourth one, we're going to stick with drying out our peels, but this time we're going to use orange peels. You can use these in homemade teas, marinades, infused oil, bath salts, the list really goes on. There are so many things you can do with dried orange peels. First, you're going to peel the orange using a vegetable peeler, but don't peel too deep. You want to avoid the white pith. Spread the orange peels in a single layer on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Go ahead and bake it at 200 degrees Fahrenheit in your oven or until they are curly and slightly hardened, about 20 to 35 minutes. Remove them from the oven and let them cool completely. Store in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to three months. Also, don't forget to download your free recipe cards because I have one on how to make this citrus rose bath salt. This makes a beautiful hostess gift and it also is really nice for you on a self-care night. For the fifth one, we're going to go back outside and make some eco-friendly bird feeders. This is a great way to get the kids involved and it will bring some beautiful wildlife into your yard. You can make these with almost any citrus fruit you have on hand. Just cut them in half. You're gonna go ahead and make four holes, two on each side. Tie some twine or some kind of ribbon into the rind, and then hang the bird feeders on a tree. Once they're hung on the tree, go ahead and pour your bird seeds in 
and this will make a nice addition to almost any garden. If you'd like to see more homemaking videos, you can click here for some cleaning motivation or here for some organizing motivation. And don't forget, the recipe cards are in the description box and you'll have all the exact measurements for everything in today's video. If you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I publish new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.